In this video, I'm bringing you behind the scenes to a fashion shoot that I was able to pull together in collaboration with Inku, and I'm really excited to share it with you. I wanna say a huge thanks to my friend Tom, who works at Inku, um, for helping me style this shoot, because I would not have been able to do it without him. So, huge love to him. I also wanna say thanks to Nick for helping model this as well, and my brother Trent for helping me film. So, let's get into it. <music> Yeah, I reckon show you. Yeah, <laughs> just fall it off your face. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Is this wet? I reckon we're good, yeah. Do you want to go side on, like, and face this way? Yeah, and then like open up a little bit to me. Yeah. Yeah, these are fun. That's sick. I reckon even we can do some like facing the other way and kind of like a bit more like flowy or playing with it a bit. I think our legs a bit like, they're a bit, they're a bit more fun. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I can play in front. Do you wanna go? Yeah, I can keep head up a bit. Yeah, just so the sun's there. Nice. Yeah, see. Oh, that's sick there. No, that works. That's epic. Yeah. Yeah, this is sick. Feels very common as well. Yeah, it's grabbing every now and then. But that's alright now. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll just be fine. Oh, that's cool there, yeah.
Just gonna head up a little bit. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. I'll just do a couple more here and then we're good. Do you go arms out a little bit? Yeah, just kind of keep it like 45 there, yeah. That's nice. And then open your left shoulder a bit to me. Yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon that's cool. It, I, I feel like we need a bit of like flow anyway. Okay. So we can always open it up after. Yeah. We'll get a couple of like. Try some of the glasses if we are. Yeah. For sure. that little behind the scenes of the photo shoot that I got up to. I had a lot of fun shooting it and it was a little bit difficult um, shooting in the harsh light, but I don't know, I kind of enjoy shooting in harsh light anyway. Um, and that's what I kind of wanted to talk about. Majority of photographers that I know do not like shooting in harsh light and will avoid it at all costs, which is kind of sad because like, if you don't shoot in it, you're never gonna be good at it. So I feel like you just gotta do it. I honestly do think that you can make shooting in harsh light still look just as flattering as, you know, sunrise or sunset or blue hour or whatever it is. Shadows from the sun can definitely be your worst enemy, but if you know how to use it right, you can honestly use it to your advantage. When you're shooting with a client on location, you don't get a choice of weather. So you've gotta be able to adapt to whatever the weather is on the day. And it's usually harsh light. You might be able to capitalize on a bit of the, um, the good light in the morning and in the evening, but if you're shooting a full day, you've got to be able to shoot in that harsh light. Honestly, you can shoot however in harsh light, depending on like the look that you're going for. In this particular shoot, I shot um, side lit and direct sun. I believe this works best for fashion, 
um, as it renders the colours a bit better if you're shooting directly with the sun because backlit just kind of washes all the shadows and highlights and, and whatnot. So if you are shooting fashion, I would recommend shooting side lit and direct sunlight. The biggest thing to keep in mind when shooting in harsh light, especially if you're shooting a subject, is that they can create their own shadows on their body with their arms and everything else. The video kind of shows me positioning Nick, um, you know, at like a 45 degree angle um, directly with the sun so that it creates no real like shadow on one side but it does on the other so you kind of get a bit of like play with that. Another thing you probably saw that I was doing was um, keeping Nick's chin up which also helps with um, yeah creating shadows across your body and well the lack of creating shadows on your body. I also used a polarizing filter to help render the light a bit better and have a better control over the light coming in and how that looks on the subject's skin. Yeah this really is a good tip to to shoot uh, fashion in direct, in direct sunlight. For the first few looks of this shoot, I used a strobe light, and this helped fill in the shadows on um, one half of the subject's um, body. So I had Nick side lit for this, for this particular shoot, um, or this particular scene, and I had the light on the other side just kind of filling in those shadows. I didn't want it to overpower like the side, because you still want the like half and half. Um, but yeah, I think it, it creates a little bit more detail in the photos to bring out the clothes a bit better. So that's why I shot with the strobe. For the rest of the shoot, I just shot direct natural light um, without any strobes, nothing. I didn't even have a scrim or a bounce for this. Um, I just kept it pretty simple. I didn't have a lot of uh, help with me in, in lighting. So usually I would love to get a scrim for this. This just helps with diffusing the light all over the subject and you just get a better control of the sun. Um, so yeah, that is a really helpful tip as well if you are shooting direct sun is to get a scrim. If you don't know what that is, look it up or I might put something up here to, to show you what that is. It would have been super helpful to have a scrim on this shoot, but I didn't have the budget for that, so we just had to make do with what we got and adapt to the circumstances that were laid out to us. Lastly, I just wanted to go over just two of my favourite photos from the shoot. Just wanted to keep it um, short and simple. My favourite photo from this shoot is this one here. Um, yeah, I really love it. I think the way I shoot editorial as well now is I keep the, the client brief in, in mind the whole time shooting. You've got to find the balance of shooting for a client, but also let your creativity go because you are shooting for a client at the end of the day. So it matters how their product looks and if it matches the vision that they have for it as well, instead of just you having the full creative freedom. I shot this photo in this way specifically for the brand where they can kind of envision their own um, like logo on it and the placement of it. So I always keep that in mind is how, how, how they can see their own brand through the images as well. So the biggest thing with like shooting fashion is it's not always about the best photos, it's about how you know, the product looks as well in it. So you've got to find the balance. It's all about balance. It's all about balance. If you did make it this far and put up with all my rambling, um, thank you. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and supporting and watching me. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, really appreciate that if you could do it. Um, also leave a comment. I want to hear from you guys. Um, if you guys had any other tips that I probably missed with shooting in harsh light or some lessons that you might have learned um, with shooting in harsh light too. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.